In this problem, we have a horse. There's my horse. And it is running. And let me finish off my horse. Uh, it's, try, it's running with initial velocity of, here we have vi equals positive 11 meters per second. And it has an average acceleration. It actually has a deceleration because there's a negative acceleration going on there. Average acceleration of negative 1.81 meters per second squared. How long does it take? So the question here is asking you for a time. How long does it take for the horse to get decrease its velocity to positive 6.5 meters per second? So it's not going backwards at the end. It's still going. We're going to just say forward. Doesn't tell you what direction that is before it's going to be positive. Backwards is going to be negative, so its acceleration is in a backward direction. Um, VF equals 6.5 meters per second. And now we're ready to go ahead and look at our uh, equations. Once again, in this problem, we are not concerned, we don't have, we're not concerned with D. And same process of elimination. We have to find t. That's the most important thing. This has t. This has t. This does not have t. This has t. And then we don't want d. This doesn't have d. This does have d. We can't use it because that's what we don't want. This one does have d, and we don't want it, so that gets canceled out. That's we're not going to use that one, and we're left off with the top one. V f equals v i plus a t. Now we're going to do a little rearranging to get t alone. We have to break away anything added or subtracted before we can deal with the multiplication here. So subtract vi, subtract vi. So we get vf minus vi equals, these cancel out. Don't need the positive, 8t. Solving for t, so we're going to divide both sides by a, divide both sides by a. Left off with t equals vf minus vi over a. And we're ready to go ahead and plug our numbers in. So that VF is right here, 6.5. That's where we want to get. VI, what we started off with, 11. And the deceleration is going to be negative 1.81 meters per second squared. So every second, this is going to get closer to that by this. And we're going to go ahead and solve. So grab our calculator. 6.5 minus 11 equals, we get negative 4.5 divided by 0.1, let me make that negative, negative 1.81 equals, and we get the time of 2.49, let's say 9 seconds. So there's our final answer. That's how long it would take a horse to go from here to there if it was changing its velocity or decelerating negative acceleration at 1.81 meters per second squared.